Hi there, this is Swami and you are watching the Genesis YouTube channel. Today we will be doing a question which is adapted from the Romanian Master of Physics 2017 competition. The question is an apparent paradox in which it appears that mechanical energy has gone missing. There is a small block of mass m which is kept at rest on an inclined plane that eventually is connected to a horizontal plane. So this is the inclined part, this part and this is the horizontal part. Now when released, the block starts to slide towards the base of the slope and continues to move to the right on the horizontal plane. The connecting region between the inclined plane and the horizontal plane is such that only the direction of its velocity changes and not its speed. So there is a small connecting region here such that maybe a curve like this and here only the direction of the velocity vector changes while passing through this and the speed does not change. So it is obvious that the height of this region is not too much. Okay. Now uh, it is also given that the starting point of the block is at a height h above the horizontal plane. Neglect friction everywhere and assume the acceleration due to gravity to be constant and directed vertically downward with magnitude g. After having described the setup, now let us get to the meat of the question. Consider the process of the block coming down the horizontal plane relative to a reference frame moving horizontally to the right with constant speed v0. That means there is a reference frame which is moving to the right with a constant velocity v0 whose magnitude is root under 2gh relative to the ground. Now by ground we mean it is given in the question that the slope and the horizontal plane. It is also given that measure gravitational potential energy relative to the horizontal plane if required. Answer the following relative to this frame. What is the initial mechanical energy of the body? What is the final mechanical energy of the body? What is the work done by gravity on the body? And finally, the last part, is this consistent with the work energy theorem? Did some mechanical energy disappear? Give a detailed quantitative analysis of the situation. I suggest you pause the video and try to do this on your own. Give it a bit of time because this question is slightly on the difficult side. We now go ahead with the solution. Now the time taken for the block to come to the horizontal plane is going to be root under 2h by g sin square theta. You can find this time in the earth frame and since there is no relativistic effect involved, I can say that the time in the frame given in the question is also the same. Now let me draw the situation in the earth frame first. In the earth frame what is happening? The block starts from here with zero velocity and then here it comes with a velocity v0 is equal to root under 2gh. I trust by energy conservation you will be able to show this. Now in the frame mentioned in the question which is traveling horizontally with a velocity v0 like this, in this frame it should be obvious that when the block comes down its velocity will be seen as 0 and the initial velocity of the block will be seen as v0 in the backward direction. So what is the initial kinetic energy of the block? It is half m v0 square and since v0 is root under 2gh this value will come out to mgh and what is the final kinetic energy that is zero so now when you write the change in kinetic energy the change in kinetic energy comes out minus mgh so now if i write the work energy theorem delta k is equal to work done by normal plus work done by gravity since the frame itself is moving with Uniform velocity, there is no pseudo force involved. What is the change in kinetic energy? Minus mgh. What is the work done by normal? Zero. Plus work done by gravity is how much? mgh. And herein it appears there is a contradiction. Now, the first thing that has gone wrong here is that this wn that we have set to zero, this step is wrong. 
because in this frame the normal force will do work let me show you how this figure shows the situation in the frame while the block is sliding down the incline now the velocity of the block is the vector sum of the velocity with respect to the incline and the velocity of the incline in this frame let us proceed to the calculation of the work done now in this frame the total velocity of the block will be the vector sum of these two velocities and i am writing this as vr vector so the work done by the normal force will be n dot the relative displacement and the relative displacement is the relative velocity into dt now this vr is minus v naught vector plus u vector i am writing all of this in vector terms now when you open this bracket with the dot product n dot u is zero because u vector is relative to the incline and therefore this angle is 90 so this dot product with u vanishes and what you are left with is n dot v naught into dt with a minus sign outside so now you need the dot product between n vector and v naught vector now you should be able to see that if this angle is theta that of the incline this will be pi by 2 minus theta value of the normal force is mg cos theta into v naught dt into cos of the angle between them and this answer comes out as minus 2 mgh cos theta now if i substitute minus 2 mgh cos theta here i still don't get a balance on the lhs and the rhs there is still something we are missing and herein comes the most beautiful part of the problem what we are missing is the work that the normal does while the velocity vector changes its direction in during that small connecting joint that is during this small connecting part the work done by normal force let us see how we calculate that this shows the situation as the block goes from the inclined part to the flat part of the track now you can see the direction of n vector is changing although n vector and u vector will always be perpendicular the angle between n vector and minus v naught vector this is going to change this angle is going to change as it passes through this curved part so how do we calculate the work done now pay close attention because this is slightly tricky now as you should start with this one n dot vr dt where vr is the vector sum of minus v naught vector and u vector and as we saw n dot u will become zero here also the same thing will happen and you're left with this now we do not know how much the height of this is and therefore we cannot actually evaluate this integral therefore we do a slight manipulation put this dt with n and since this v naught vector is constant the expression becomes the dot product of this impulse and v naught vector and how do we deal with impulses i don't need to know how much time this curved portion of the track took for the block because of the impulse momentum theorem i don't need to evaluate this all i need to know is how the momentum changed as the block started here and ended here as the block started from this position and ended at this position so you can see that this integral ndt i have written as delta p vector dot v naught vector now understand v naught vector is a horizontal vector so delta p dot v naught is simply the component of delta p along v naught into v naught that is the standard property of dot product a vector dot b vector is component of a along b into b so we can write this as the product of component of change of momentum along the x direction into v naught now what is the change in momentum in the x direction it is this much m v naught minus m v naught cos theta i trust you can see that into v naught and the minus sign was already there and evaluate put the value of v naught evaluate you will get the value as minus 2 mgh into 1 minus cos theta so now the total work done by the normal is work done by normal on the inclined part plus work done by normal on the connecting curved part and the total work done at these two 
add this one and add this one. The total work done you will get as minus 2 mgh. And now see whether the work energy theorem is satisfied. Work done by gravity is mgh. So now let us see delta k is equal to work done by normal plus work done by gravity. This one was minus mgh. Work done by normal we are resulting is minus 2 mgh. And work done by gravity is plus mgh. And you can see now the LHS matches the RHS. The crux to this question was first realizing that the normal does work in this frame and secondly that the normal does work during the flat part as well as during the small curved part in which the velocity vector is changing. And that was the key to this question. This was a beautiful problem that appeared in Romanian Master of Physics 2017. It does not involve many complicated concepts. It involves very simple situation which we are familiar with. A block sliding down an inclined plane. And, and they have taken this simple situation and they have analyzed it in a different frame and thereby increasing the complexity of the situation multiple. If you like this question, like, subscribe and share widely amongst your friends. And as always, till the next time, stay safe and stay healthy all.